instruments are scary. Hello, and you are Welcome to Cinemaria, where we only talk about South Korean movies and dramas. Today's review is brought to you by one of you guys. Someone actually suggested that I should review the 2005 horror movie Cello or Cello. So here we go. Even though this was a suggestion from one of you guys, I'm gonna be brutally honest here, okay? The movie was directed by Lee Woo Chal. He has also directed a movie called The Hunt, which I haven't seen, and it stars Song Hyuna as a music instructor whose life turns completely upside down after one of her students threatens her, blaming her grades on the teacher. She receives a mysterious cassette tape. Were cassette tapes a thing back in 2005? Even City started to go out of fashion at that point. Anyway, there's a cello duet on the tape, and she almost gets into an accident upon hearing it while listening to it in her car. She must have some emotional connection to the music. At home she is living with her husband, her sister and her two daughters. The older daughter seems to be autistic and one day she falls in love with a cello so she starts teaching her how to play. It goes really well, it sounds something like this. To make things even worse, a new maid comes to the house. She also has a pretty dark past, she lost her family, she tried to commit suicide, she drank acid so she can't speak and things start to get really weird from there. This movie is not really good. But I'd be lying if I said that there weren't things that I really appreciated here, so let's start with those. The movie opens with an incredible stylish sequence with great classical music, a girl playing the cello by herself in a room while someone else is dying in a hospital after an accident. I loved the contrast, I loved the way it was filmed, I loved the music, I was like wow, if the movie is able to keep this up, this is going to be a masterpiece. Unfortunately that's not the case, but the opening was fantastic. I also appreciated the fact that the movie keeps you guessing all the time. We know that there's something wrong, but we don't know what it is. There seems to be a supernatural force in the house. The autistic daughter sometimes appears to be possessed. The main character has huge scars on her right wrist that also seems to have some importance. And the cello is also acting pretty weird because instruments are scary. But after a while I couldn't help but think that this is only in the main character's mind. I thought that this was all in her head, meaning the whole movie is psychological. And here's the great part. The movie is totally ambiguous and it can be interpreted both from a psychological and a supernatural point of view. And whatever conclusion you make, you're probably right. So the movie is really smart about this. I personally tend to lean towards more of the psychological aspect of it, but we get enough information for both interpretations to be valid. That's not a small feat to pull off and I really appreciated that aspect of cello. Now with that said, like I mentioned, I really like the opening, but after that the film gets pretty boring honestly. The dialogues are really bad, there are false scares everywhere, annoying musical cues that are supposed to scare us but they just infuriate me. But the biggest problem is the acting here, and I blame the director for that. The dialogues and the acting here is painfully wooden, and the way they deliver the lines are terrible, emotionless, even when they're talking about something of huge importance. I constantly felt like I'm watching actors trying to act, you know? They were not convincing at all. And I think this is the first time I've seen bad acting from a child in a Korean movie. The little daughter was really bad. And these things take you out of the movie. They took me out of the movie. And also visually, Cello is really bland. Apart from the opening, nothing really stands out. The CGI is terrible again. Korean movies suck when it comes to CGI. The dialogue scenes are uninspired and dull. Honestly, the only thing that kept my attention was the element of mystery that is prevalent throughout the whole film. Thank God at least that wasn't disappointing. But Cello is a badly directed movie. The actors are totally misdirected here. Their reactions to things are not genuine at all. So it's very hard for you to immerse yourself in the movie. I'm gonna give Cello 65%. It's an average at best horror movie with cheap scares and cheap thrills, annoying musical cues, false scares, terrible CGI, wooden acting, but with a great sense of mystery and like I said, ambiguity that actually works really well. It's not a piece of trash, but it could have been done so much better. That's it for today, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and please recommend me more movies. I know some of you guys had asked for Joint Security Area. I also love that movie, but I want to talk about it later. It's such an important movie, I want to do it justice. Someone also recommended Poetry by Yi Chang Dong. I'll also talk about it later. But I've got a question for you. What are your favorite, not so well-known Korean movies? A well-known Korean movie is something like Parasite, Old Boy, Burning, Train to Busan. You get the point. So please. Recommend me more obscure but great Korean movies, and I'm gonna talk about them. Tell me your favorites. See you guys next time. Time she got a man, Bye.